found new features and maximum clippers time users looking to find the perfect. I'll be back. Hey there, guys. Welcome. How's everybody doing? What's going on, Tadpole? Uh, Jaworth, thanks for the follow. Phoenix, Hopewell, Zulu, Look a Midget, Flixian, how's everybody doing? Vilsol, Lila Vang, uh, Voltstorm, Horse Kevin, Ryu, Raven Mad. Well, a lot of names I haven't seen for quite a while. All right. First time watching live. Well, welcome. And uh, Voltstorm, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Very much appreciated. Thank you and welcome. 
Sammy Honey Bunny called me a midget. Alright, so tightening the belt. Mic too far away. The mic is like right on my face, dude. Like. <laughs> That's pretty much as close as I can get it without it being on my mouth. So, there you go. Nice sub animation. I'm glad you like it. Alright. So, what do, we, what do we need to do? I've been thinking. And, uh, and I kind of have a plan. I'm not exactly sure how to execute it. I tried getting on the community server today, but my computer's too slow. Yeah, the server's pretty big right now. Uh, once it gets to that stage, not a ton of people can keep up, unfortunately. Enrico, hey, how's it going? He has a plan. Uh, kind of. <laughs> like, because people keep saying I need to expand this and such. But, so I think what we need to do is grind out a little bit more research and then have things kind of focus towards like just building up like furnaces and like electric furnaces and beacons and such and just keep the modules running this whole time and then like then just I guess just start tearing it down and rebuilding parts with like beacon and module stuff because like I don't really know what to do at this point I'm stuck <laughs> I've never done this before uh mojo I need your help man what do I do Hey, Peace, what's going on? I don't know how to proceed. <laughs> uh, Volstorm, thanks for the follow as well. Alright, so... Because, I mean, at this point, the only other option I see is just to, like, build a whole second one of this here. And, like, a whole nother one of these, like, farther down or something. And then just somehow keep expanding science. I have to get out of bed. No, can you just, like, give me, in, like, ten words, what I should do? Right. <laughs> just, like, do X, Y, and Z. He's blazing bets on when 17 will drop one, two, three months or a year. Um, I would be astonished if 17 drops before, like, September or October. Uh, Lizzie, four months in a row. Thank you so much. More faster. Yeah, so I think the, I think the best thing to do is just to, like, get, uh, the, 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 the stuff built up, the furnaces and such, and then just, like, tear this down and start doing electric beacon furnaces somehow and then something more tear down the science and build bigger science i this this is why belt bases give me a headache i mean we could do like a separate smelting area and then like proceed from there so we could do like but then we might as well just build another one of these right so We can double our production by I'll be back. putting two of this map in Clastoria. Yeah, there you go. Enrico, thanks for the follow as well. Replace in chunks. Have beacons and modules running non-stop. Okay. Mojo, why does Mojo waste his time on external Mojo is much better than him. Well, if Mojo's better than me, then he's just, like, probably in a different universe than you, right? Because... <laughs> that, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm getting from that, right? Okay. Constant supply, 
of iron for new belts. Well, we have tons of iron. Iron is actually like our least lacking thing right now. Okay, well let's let's up the beacon. We almost have like a full chest of beacons actually. I'm just gonna up this. I'm just gonna uncap it though. And then modules. Modules are what's lacking, and it's due to red circuits because red circuits are being all eaten up by these electric furnaces right now. Uh, this mega base piece, yeah, it's on my Patreon. It's public, so you you can just get it. Um, I know you got yourself set up upgrading the initial base, but the first thing you said was that your final mega base would be built elsewhere. Therefore, I say you listen to that version of Exterm. Did I say it would be built out elsewhere? Evil grin. Who cares who's better than who? It's not a competition. Yeah, unless you make it one, and then you're just wrong. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I got to say to you, Dylan. How updated is it? Uh, a bit. I update it every week or two. Okay, so these... We need to, like, start stockpiling this stuff. Let's let's do it at, like, the end of science here. It needs to be a filter inserter. Gonna grab that. Stick a passive provider down. Is this even in the network? <laughs> of course it's not. It's, like, one tile not in the network. That's that's great. Okay. Connect furnace less than let's just say like two hundred. First couple episodes you said you would build it in the northeast. Over here somewhere? I'm not sure how I'm going to do that now. Because I keep changing my mind. Like, part of me wants to go build a separate base, and then part of me wants to, like, just keep upgrading this base. And it seemed like the community was more interested in me just continually upgrading this base rather than going and building a separate one. Make it the full chest? That's nowhere near the full chest. What are you talking about? It's only four stacks. 200 furnaces is a lot, like, for beacons and stuff, because you only use, like, what is it, like 15 of them for a blue belt or something? Speedrun Factorio, speedrun Desert Anti would win one and lose the other. <laughs> is it the one under your post on Patreon from the February 3rd? No, it should have, yeah. Yeah, but I keep updating, like, the link is tied, it's a Google link, so it just keeps updating whenever I update the save. Um, okay, so we've got that. Modules, we just need, we just need red circuits, man. We need a lot of red circuits. I feel like... We should maybe re, uh, reassign where some of these go. But this is almost a full belt. Like, geez, we're making 700 of these a minute. I think I just has to wait. Got to be anting the PvP production challenge. Yeah, that's the goal. Okay, so... If we were to build a separate base, it... These patches are kind of awkwardly located because this area... Well, it's just not really big enough. 14 per belt. Yeah, so... I mean... 200 is enough... For the whole base, but... Oh, uh, the biters? I kill them all. They're here. We've just cleared them all out. Yeah, I didn't say that was enough furnaces for the whole base. It's, it's to get started, guys. Come on. Keep up. All right. These, uh, people suggest we put productivity modules in these, but... I mean, oil's infinite. I guess we could. 
There's not really room to beacon them any farther. Hmm. I mean, this is like perfect right in here. We could actually... I actually want to go explore this area a bit. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get some uh, uranium ammo, wherever that went. Hey, John Ball, how are you doing? Come on, oh, what? Oh, it's right, oh, it's down here. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, let's let's go, let's do a little bit of exploring here, see, see what we can find. Hey, Catman, how are you doing? Do you have a beacon smelter that you're planning to use? That one you sketch out in that one episode? Uh, probably not that one. Now that we don't have the stupid compression thing, it'll be a lot easier to come up with a better design, which we could do actually here. That, that wouldn't be a bad idea, is do on stream here, so... We'll do that. Alright. I'm lost. Has Anti even found a map yet? Or is he still re-rolling? I need more exos, man. This is a uh, this is a little bit slow. Compression still is not 100% reliable on max beacon smelters. You sure about that? Lost in his own base. I'm not in my base, Hope. I'm in in the map. All right. Oh. I was reading chat and I heard my lasers go off. Hey, John Bull, thank you for gifting that sub to Mojo, man. You, you're you gifting all the subs. Thank you so much. What kind of oil do we have here? 4,200%, that's not bad. This is a monster of a coal patch. Not super rich, but... Seems like 97% compression. So, how do you fix that, Mojo? Did you find a way to get 100%? Or is it, do you just... It's a little bit ouchy. Uh, let's see. Hey, Geeson. I am doing pretty well. How are you doing? I have two separate power armors, one optimized for building, one for combat. I'll be back. I mean, I suppose it's pretty easy to switch parts out, but... Get us the new emoji. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to work on it. I gotta wait for people to design it. He did two attempts, but abandoned both of them, and he stopped the stream for today. The first one was because really early attacks mistake. The second one because not enough stone. Damn. That was a really short stream. All together at last, nice double source of oil. I think only underground trick allowed 100%. So can we just not get 100% compression now? On beacon stuff? Uh, if you switch the reports out, they had to charge from scratch when you put them back in. True. Alright, so... This area is, like, pretty open. Potentially. Oh man, look at this iron patch. Let's go on YouTube as the others, and if so, will be contribution of... Uh, this will go on YouTube, and this will be in place of an episode today. You got 100% on being in smelters with double inserters on the last furnace for each belt side. Oh yeah, the, uh, what was that? That was on the community server, that one, one I saw that I wanted to use, that I now can't remember. 
And of course I didn't blueprint it. You know, because that would have been the smart thing to do, thinking ahead. Yeah, I don't think I had a plan. That's why I didn't blueprint it. I'm going to leave me alone. Oh, no. See ya, Kana. Hopefully you can take care of work quickly. Oh, jeez. Ouch. Ouch. Double ouch. That was, uh, that was no good. That was... That was not a good one. You stupid worms. These guys hurt, man. Labor camp, get the blueprint, go, go, go. <laughs> well, I have to switch out my mods, though, which requires a restart, two restarts. Super awesome series. I have learned a ton from you, although I still struggle with the train light and signals and stuff. Keep up good work. Well, thank you, Peace. Um, I mean, the train's just, you just got to practice, really. It just takes a lot of practice once you like if you know the basic principles like the normal signal before merge chain before crossies and then just practice and kind of see like what works and what doesn't you'll get there uh and zenob thank you for the follow a few minutes ago only midway smelter and then merge them Struggles with them too, we just force him to learn. Yeah. I mean, I have a decent grasp now, unless it's like a crazy junction. There's, there's just like not a lot of space to build a big base in here, to be honest. It's kind of annoying. All right, well, let, let's design a furnace a furnace thing. That's the first step, right? Let's see if we can get a decent furnace design set up. I'll be back. Um, Angel Bay, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I mean, I changed the RSO settings, yeah. I didn't remember the patches being this close together, though. Hot for mixed ore train stop. That is true. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm still not a fan of that, even with the filter splitters. Oh, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> I make the mistake of not leaving enough room, so when I try to expand, I always run into trouble. Yeah, that is, like, one of the biggest things, Vectoria. One of the biggest rules is leave, like, ten times the amount of room that you think you're going to need. Trains are great once you get the hang of them with the circuit network. Yeah, the circuit network, I still don't really know the circuit network much. What's better, 8 beacons or 12 beacons? Well, 12 beacons is going to be faster. Uh, eight, 8 beacons is, I think, I believe, more power efficient and potentially more space efficient. Zuri and I tested it. I don't remember the exact results. But eight beacons were pretty much better in all cases, except unless you just need, like, raw speed. So, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do eight beacon furnaces, just because I think it, it seems to work better. Hey, Will, what's going on? What are, what are you bots doing, guys? Like, come on. Okay, so we need to grab some stuff. We need to grab beacons, modules. Mojo said he had 14 per belt, which makes sense. That's 7 per side, essentially. Um, so we don't need... Well, we I guess we do need modules if we want to, if we want to, like, blueprint this, so... 
go ahead and get stuff. Stick these in here. There's like not really many modules because uh, there's no red circuits. <laughs> Better each new game I start, especially now that I am learning to make a bus instead of spaghetti. Um, that's awesome, man. The most expensive part of a beacon build are module threes. Yeah, exactly. That'd be cool. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We just need some blue belt. We have inserters. We just need like a couple things of blue belt. Some blue undergrounds. And this is not working because no red circuits. Right. Dude. For real? Well, we shouldn't really need that many splitters, actually. Alright, so... Jeez, man, what is... I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm tired. Uh, okay. How about we don't do that? Let's just tear all this up. Oh, jeez. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. My inventory's full. I know, I know, I know. These beacons take up so much room, dude. Why not just use blue bell for everything? Uh, because it's super expensive and we don't need it yet. I just need three more builds and I can start turning on my mega base. Nice, Flexine, you're super close, dude. Uh, well, yeah, we're sciencing furnace builds again because now that the compression thing is fixed, it won't be nearly as frustrating to mess with. But this is for this base, so this is not Clustorio uh, builds yet. Uh, furnaces, that's what I was looking for. I'll be back. Grab a few of these. Uh, Amish, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And then got the hang of the only thing I can't figure out. It's some kind of personal pack station that automatically come and pick you up when you get close to a certain station. Oh, that, that would be interesting. Like, that much of automatic? That could be difficult. Um, okay, so... I mean, we'd want them in a line, right? God damn it. Or would we? Would we want it spread out more? Probably. Because we want two, two lines, essentially. I forget how they were doing that in the community server. My brain hurts. When these days I should make the jump to a mega base, I usually launch a rocket or two and then start a new game. Well, I mean, you don't have to mega base, like, it's totally fine to just keep restarting. That's the way I played for a very long time. Passenger. To be honest, one small thing, I'd go for 12 beacons. I still think 8 beacons is better. That'd be difficult. Just heard that someone already figured out a way to do it. Wow. Just finished a 3 hour plan calling survival. A lot better this time. Nice, you didn't get wrecked this time. I should really finish my blueprint site. Nice. Okay, so, I mean, we could just do kind of what I was originally doing. Uh, you can you can just do one input belt, because you're going to have more output than input anyway, so. I find 12 beacon builds to make to be harder for belts, because then you gotta like weave stuff around. I mean, does it really matter? All, all it does is just like, eight beacon builds are more space if like, 
I don't really see the benefit for 12 beacon builds unless you just need the raw speed, which I don't. I'm more faster on foot, you're sort of stat on food. <laughs> nice. My sort of style, I like it. I like the sounds of that. I mean, so we need two inserters though. Uh, on one of these, either the first one or the last one, I think, to get this fully compressed. So two, four, six, seven. Um, that's on the wrong side, though. More beacons equals fewer inserters. I'm not really going to run into UPS problems, though. Like, I'm not going for, like, a 5k base here or anything. Uh, side load if if the side loading actually gives me full compression I still don't know if that's gonna be the case though the goal of the map is just to get to Omega base with belts like that's why I'm saying it doesn't need to be um, it doesn't need to be like 5k 4k like I'm probably like 2k or something so, like, we're not going to hit UPS problems. No 5k? Not with belts, man. I'm having a hard enough time doing this scale. <laughs> uh, this one, though, this one may not go on the correct side because of this curve. I'm not actually sure on that. All right, standard beacons here, boom. These don't reach, so that's great. That was a problem, duh. Oh, this one can, uh, this one could uh, underground though. This could actually go, no, no, not really. That doesn't work. I think I need to rearrange my inserters. Underground, so I mean I have to underground, I would have to underground twice. Because I can't just underground right here. So I gotta do that. Which unfortunately does not look too good. Like that actually looks terrible. And it still screws up the beacon uh, here, though. Yeah, so we just need to move the inserters, which is what I said the first time. Just glad you have space exterminate. I'm about to start work with only 25 tiles. Yeah, dude, I don't know why you're doing that. Sounds like... <laughs> that sounds so painful, dude. Uh, okay, well... Damn. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, we'll just stick them all in the middle then. Gotta be the same. It will probably switch those two, but there we go. I might actually reach it. Sweet. Okay. And then these guys need to switch. 
Really? Oi! That's important, man. Uh, I can look at him, Catman, but I don't. I'm not gonna use him. I'm doing because the stream was doing this exact map, so I got to see to see if I can be done because they were not gonna make it. How are they not gonna make it? Like they ran out of space or something? Oi! Come on, dude! Bug off! For, for real? They must be down here. Now you now you've made me mad. Now you done it, you stupid bug. I was ramping up they didn't have any oil. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like that'd be really easy to defend, though. Because if you're only on a 25-tile map, tile, like, you just build the wall. Like, they, they can only enter left or right, and that's it. Can't mock a build without a bite or attack every time. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously, every damn time we try this, we get attacked. we are actually got a lot of bases and pollution here. They may have actually come from that other one, so we're going to have to go that way. Water walls make it even easier. Man, this, now i got to hike all the way around here? Like, come on, dude. Now we should be able to finish the build. <laughs> oh, there's even more here. Wow, that's actually a pretty big base. So I'm glad I came over here. Well, it's not actually that big, but it's pretty big compared to this one. This is like one spawner. Yeah, where's my pocket landfill? That's what I'm saying. Alright. Boom. Done. Some iron. I gotta go investigate. We could be rich. Not bad. These guys are guarding it. Not for long. 25 mil. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We've automated bots now. No more landfilling. Oh yeah, automated boats. Yeah, guys. The, uh... Not spotlight that went out. Pretty freaking cool. Uh, evolution's really high. It's like 96%, 92%. It's pretty up there. Uh, you can ride in it, yeah. Indeed. Hope all and I were talking. Imagine, like, using that on the Earth map. That would be super cool, wouldn't it? Make some radar outposts with a lot of turrets around it. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to explore more of the map at the moment. I just, I, I, I don't know. I haven't thought about it, I guess. that That's my excuse. Okay, so... Uh, right. We were, uh, we were doing this. Now, unless we actually feed this, I won't know if this is actually going to work correctly, but... Oh, and I hadn't... I, uh... I didn't finish this, because I got rudely interrupted. Well, 
Like, I don't mind doing them in the middle. They don't have to be these paired ones. So it's fine. I'm scheduled training, so I'll be catching the VODs. It only started an hour earlier. You do it to monitor how far the pollution goes. That is true. Yeah, it is starting to go off the map over here. Um, okay, so we got this. This comes out. And, uh, and yeah, so really all that's left. Um, now we cannot substation this, unfortunately. Luckily, these do reach the beacons, though, which is quite nice. I can't actually tell. Like, that's not powered, is it? Stupid grass. Dude, this is, like, impossible to see anything. <laughs> so bad. Oh, jeez. Um... No, because those aren't powered either. Like, I actually... These undergrounds are in a very precarious spot. I mean, I don't really care about the power, to be honest. This is actually in a really inconvenient spot, though. New substation to use undergrounds. It's actually true. This could literally just underground, just merge right there. That is a very good point, sir. Whoops. Like, these sh this shrubbery and stuff is actually just not, not, it's kind of inconvenient, I gotta say. Let me come powerful design with this build. Well, I'm pretty sure we don't have that now. Ah, actually, that's not bad. I, I'm actually not. I, I'm. It could just be a square, but I kind of actually like this little uppity do here. I'm. I'm pretty darn happy with that. And then these could just come over, like that. I think it's good. Real question is: Is it gonna work? And uh, we 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 would have to do some iron ore to uh, figure that out. So. Let's blueprint this. I'm sure I forgot something again. Yeah, like a belt. Uh, boom, so that's our output. Input, good, good, good. Uh, so we'll blueprint this guy. Why aren't we in creative mod for this? Uh, because that would require me switching mods. Uh, let's just say electric furnace build. Throw some model pictures in there too, just to clarify. Boom. So my game blueprints. At each end, it's overkill for blue belt. Yeah, but I want all the furnaces to be the same speed. Alright, bots. Go, go, go. Only we could put the module pictures in the blueprint name right now. I know, wouldn't that be nice? There will be a lot of nice quality of life features with uh, 017, like that is for sure. Uh, I kind of, I do want to just plug this in though somewhere. See if it works. We don't actually have a blue belt anywhere though, so that isn't really actually going to work then. I could plug like two reds into it or something. I'm sure to work. Oh, uh, let's turn this off. Jeez, that is not a pretty sight. I 
how many lanes wide will a, will a smelter be? Anything less than 10 lane is baby. Uh, yeah, it would be more than 10 lane. I haven't calculated it out. Probably like 12 or something, 16, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so research we could, uh, well, I kind of want the, I kind of want the module build to go and research cuts into that because these damn red circuits I mean we have plenty of red circuits now maybe we should just expand the module build it actually sounds like a good idea just kick things up a notch with this guy I mean he's like totally backed up there's no reason this couldn't go way faster than this uh, okay. Well, we won't have red circuits for long, I can tell you that much. And copper coal and oil go directly to modules. That yeah, is kind of its own mega base, huh? And a legit ME. Nah, we don't need a legit ME, dude. The the ME isn't belt based. It can't come. It can't be here. Workshop series coming back, or is it scheduled on your page outdated? Uh, they are not coming back. That I know of. <laughs> yeah, now there's no red circuits. Is this red belt? This thing is red belt, isn't it? Yeah, but this isn't. Duh. There we go. And that's yellow belt too, dude. Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, all this is yellow belt. Or red belt, rather, not yellow belt. Should help a bit. Upgrade planner. It was like four belts. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got that. More circuits. How's I wonder how I mean oil should be doing good. We have that huge oil patch. Oh yeah. We'd be in good shape. Those modules, they don't need beacons, they already can't be supported with resources at the moment. Well, at least we're we are we're at fifty percent mining prod, which, I mean, that's not great. It's not what we need for direct into trains, but it's uh, it helps. I mean, it certainly helps. A free piece of ore for every two mining cycles, essentially. It does all these little things to optimize and automate, then does it manually anyway. I mean, like, <laughs> it's the way I play, you know. I'm the one playing, not you guys. There's a different, there's a huge difference between making an optimized build and doing something manually or not. Like, those are two entirely different things. They can't be compared against each other. There's none going on this boat because I prioritize this and the beacons. Well, the beacon should be almost done. It's a lot of beacons, but. We could launch another rocket. This doesn't take red circuits. Well, kind of does for the blue circuits, but in these modules, it's fine.
He's dumb when he's on camera and he sounds way smarter than the rest of the time. Gee, go figure. Who would have thought that when you're trying to read chat and talk at the same time that you wouldn't be as sharp when you're not doing that? Hmm. Damn, what a novel idea. Ooh, there's gears on the circuit belt. Cool. Come here, gears. Ah. A whole two of them. Or four. This is sufficiently sped up here, though, I think. I mean, we could just make a whole circuit module base again. That may not be a bad idea. Like, if we can we find somewhere? I mean, this would be... This is a bit overkill. I kind of wanted to save this to input to the mega base. But we need somewhere with copper and iron next to each other. I mean, this would be good. We're already tapping it. This would have also been good. <laughs> Great. Uh, I mean, we could do it, like, here. I mean, 9 million plus 50%. I mean, that's like 15 million. Not quite. Uh, there's no oil, but there may be oil over here. You could get oil from over here somewhere. Coal? For the plastic, yeah. Well, there's coal right here. Just train in some oil. No green circuit, just building up mod base. Yeah, that yeah, that's definitely a good way to do it. Come on, bugs, give it a rest, man. I guess we need to go see if there is oil here. Even if there's not, we can just get it from somewhere. I think that's a good idea because we we're gonna need a lot of modules and. I don't I just don't think this base can grind it out coal liquefaction It could do that too uh, It's not as efficient uh, But there is a ton of coal here Steal the spotlight hey fearless decoy. Yeah, man. They uh, they just want to steal the spotlight. It's kind of rude really You know, this would actually be pretty darn easy to set up. Throw some smelters together. Take a couple circuit builds. I feel like this is something I should probably be doing on an episode, though, right? I know when you're running out. Yeah, I mean, it'll last a long time. Seems I don't want to sound so good to start. Yeah. It's interesting because they like, even though they added coal liquefaction, they also buffed oil. So there's not really a need for it. Like before they buffed oil, coal liquefaction I think would have been used way more. But it's like now oil is actually really pretty abundant and pretty good. Well, usually, at least in RSO, uh, which I think a lot of people use. So like there's, there's just no need for it. I mean, like look at this oil. Like, we just don't need ever to do coal liquefaction because it's just easier to do oil production and there's tons of oil. I mean, it's really cool. I'm glad it's in the game. Like, don't get me wrong. It's, it's It definitely could come in handy uh, for sure, especially in, like, some challenges or something if you don't have much oil. That could be good. So we can point out issues during the stream episode contains an explanation of how it works. Spin the stream planning it out, then build it on episode. I mean, I'm not sure there's much planning. Like, we take the smelter I just made, and we plug it in for iron and copper, and then we take the circuit build, copy-paste it down, feed the iron and copper into it, and then paste the red circuit and blue circuit build down 
and then send those into modules and then copy paste the oil build well the most of it and then put that down and send the plastic in and like we're not doing anything new really we're just but I, I want to do it on episode because I don't want to come back and people and just be like oh by the way I built an entirely <laughs> separate base over here that you didn't see hey Juve how's it going well, it takes a long global faction, you don't need a well. Yeah. Explain why the build is good. What, on episode hope or now? Get beacon circuit builds? I, I mean, we could do that. Um. We could come up with a beacon circuit build. I hadn't done that yet. Let me build a main base while you're sleeping, yeah. When do you decide to dedicate an entire patch to circuits? Uh, I guess just when you need it. Like, I'm at a point where I need a lot of modules, so I'm deciding to just dedicate a patch to, to making modules. Because our current base just can't support that and science at the same time. Um, so like, I mean, this, this takes two red belts of iron, and so a blue belt is three yellows, which means it's, like, two and a half reds. So one of those furnace designs would support, like, a little more than one of these for iron, and then, like, well, pretty much one of these for copper. I don't have enough modules, though, to actually make a beacon green circuit build right now. Uh, plastic is looking a little low. What is going on here? It's a full belt. What is... What? Double what? The fuck? Where's all my plastic going down here? What am I using plastic for over here again? I, uh, be confused. That's steel. Low densities, right. Yeah, that's it. One blue equals 2.5 reds? You. Uh, yeah, right? A blue belt is three times the speed of a yellow, and a red belt is two times the speed of a yellow. So three yellows uh, would be one and a half. Sorry, not two and a half. Math. Yeah, 1.5. Yeah, the plastic will be fine. Okay, well let's let's go blueprint. Let's let's uh, let's get some of this stuff down over there then. So, we need a blue belt of ore input. Do you guys know? I forget. Do you remember how many miners it takes to fill a blue belt? I never remember these miner ratios. Hack for this iron patch. We may only be able to get one blue belt out anyway. It's not very big. We can't, I don't even think we can get a blue belt from this. This thing's like tiny, dude. I mean, we'll just fill it with miners, I guess. Okay, now, okay. Now you're really gonna piss me off. You over here, you're dead. Don't make me get out my nuclear artillery. Hey, General Allen, what's going on? How are you doing? Like, for real, dude. That's important stuff you're killing. Hey, Ripbun, what's going on? 
Uh, 75 minus for a blue belt without productivity of freedom, so that's uh, multiplied minus uh, is 50 minors. Uh, thank you, Rito. So 50 minors, I mean, that, that can definitely support more than 50 minors. Bring a car. Uh, a car may be faster unless I hit stuff. Why don't you have a defense there? Because I'm not used, I shouldn't be getting attacked here. It was probably, I think it was this base. There's no other base in the pollution. It's fine. I'm doing good now. It's 16 nuclear reactors maxed up at 2.2 gigawatts. Wow, very nice. It's going to be a pretty big build, huh? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. I'm uh, I'm tired. So, Xerum, what's for dinner? Uh, I'm debating between... Uh, Meatballs and spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs and a salad, or soup and some sort of sandwich. I uh, I had Qdoba last night and it was insanely good, but uh, didn't entirely agree with me. So I'm not. <laughs> soup is sounding a bit better than spaghetti right now, but we'll see. All that tomato sauce doesn't sound particularly appealing. Uh, yeah, we eat, like breakfast for dinner. Uh, that doesn't really sound. Good. I already had eggs today. Uh, my baby base, how, how's it going with going all in on YouTube and Twitch? It's going well. It's going pretty well, thank you. Uh, yeah, Flexian Homemade. And more gravy-like sauce. Over pasta? I don't know about that. Through quite expensive recipes. Wow, nice. All right, so clear this out. Get rid of these, all these dang rocks and trees over here. What do you use in vegetable meatballs? Um, I don't remember. There's breadcrumbs, like parsley, uh, I think a little bit of cheese, mushrooms, onions, and uh, I think egg or something. To like keep them together, they're pretty damn good. Uh, we didn't bring miners, but that's fine. We can just okay. So if that's there, which belt goes where? Uh, like that. I think we do want to do vertical potentially. Well, we wouldn't have to. Um, do we? Actually, if we do vertical like here-ish, this would be far better. Okay, so if we place this, uh, let's turn off our bots. Place this, like, there. Um, let's see how many miners we could get on here, potentially. It looks like gravy, berry sort of sauce. Berry? A berry sauce? Boom. This little hole in the middle is a little bit annoying. It's... I mean, we cover it, but then, there, you know, like, this one is not going to have that much. Well, it's not too bad. This should definitely be more than 50. I've launched a little 200 sats. Wow, very nice. Pasta with ham, cut out pieces and veggies is one of my favorites. Nice. So we just made meatballs practically to eat with lingonberries. Huh. 
So that's actually 83, so this can support more than one of these, which... I guess... Because this is actually one blue bell, it's only one and a half reds, not two and a half, so that one blue furnace actually couldn't even support this. We need more iron. I'm gonna have to train in iron from somewhere. Could hit this patch. May not be a bad idea. Yeah, a million times for FTL. I don't wanna. <laughs> it is a bit. It is a bit, a bit for the SpaceX stuff, isn't it? Uh, and then this guy, you can kind of do, because that one can build up. This one, I mean, we should share the beacons, so yeah, we'll do one, two, three, and uh, let's just... I'm just gonna mark these just so I remember what the plan was. I don't, why are you double clicking, mouse? Uh, you probably should use a model circuit build. I don't have enough models to build a modeled circuit build. Near enough room there to combine the ore belts. Sure I did. What do you mean? Yeah, I did. Totally did. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then the coal will be for plastic. So really, we could just... I mean, we really can just, like, blueprint this entire thing. Well, not the entire thing, uh, but a good bit of it. Um, yeah, really, I mean, why not? Don't need these. Uh, don't really know what that is. That light oil, heavy oil, I mean, really, we shouldn't. Hey, Crazy Death, how are you doing? Okay, so oil was gonna come from over here-ish. The coal's here, though. Of course, running a train. I'd rather belt the coal, like, around. I think. Because running a train, like, in front of this, when the circuit's gonna be over there, is gonna be a bit interesting. Okay, where should this go? Because if we... If we bring an iron by train, it's going to come over here somewhere, too, so... Uh, hmm. I cannot decide. I can do it, like, over here. My mom's even crazier. I've got to head out. Alright, see you later, Flexian. Have a good one, man. Nails are starting to come in. Oh no. Starting to bother you again. Sweet. Uh, where is that oil build? Let's clear that and then let's grab a circuit build. We cannot, we don't have to use. Thanks, game.
P uh, okay, cool. So we kind of got that planned out, which is awesome. Like I said, it's really pretty easy. I'm just going to red belt all this. We'll combine it into blues. Uh, okay. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub to any channel you like for free by linking your Amazon Prime account to Twitch Prime and then going up to the sub button and you'll have a way to sub uh, for free. And it does not auto-renew though, by the way, so if you have subbed to Twitch Prime, uh, make sure to renew it each month manually because it will not auto-renew. Uh, but if you do want to sub for free, you can. Right. And that, hey, Crazy Death, thank you for the Prime sub. See, free subs. If you have Amazon Prime. Plus, you get lots of cool, like, uh, in-game, like, loot for all kind of different games. Call of Duty, Overwatch, Fortnite, uh, tons of other games. Like, monthly, they give out stuff. So thank you, Crazy Death. Uh, okay, so these combine down. This is like not great. Um, I should do some sort of balancer, I think. Probably. I think he was right, guys. I don't think I left enough room for this. Yikes. Oh no. Do I get free Tinder swag? <laughs> Unfortunately not. As the Serenity. Going well. Hey, Alnora, how are you doing? Still need a credit card added to my Amazon account. Do you need that to link it to Twitch? Yeah, I guess so. Well, no, you shouldn't need to to link it to... Oh, if you have Amazon, if to get Amazon Prime, probably. You just need a 4 to 2. Well, you might as well just do a 4 to 4 and then just take two belts out. That was actually for copper. Wait, what? I was doing three copper and one iron? Didn't I? No. Wrong. Bad game. Go make a cheese sandwich. Have a good stream. Alright, see you later, Joof. Have a good snack or meal. This week, and I binge watch Firefly. <laughs> nice. It's just as good, like, the fifth time around, isn't it? Speaking of which, it's almost snack time, dude. I'm hungry. Okay, so that gets tied in there. Uh, we will have to train in some iron, though, I think, because, I mean, that's not... This is not going to be two full blue belts. It's going to be, like, one and a half or something. Uh, and the best patch I can see is probably up here. That should be a pretty easy train line, pretty much just straight down. Throw an extra two splitters on the end. What do you mean, Hope? Extra two? On the end? What? Pretty sure this is a full 4-4 four to four balancer, 4-2, four to two, whatever. And um, we did forget a line, though. Boom. Got that. And these can merge over there. This is really big to the south. Yeah, this one, 
Uh, I feel like this one's almost easier because this is like almost literally a straight shot down. This one we could landfill, but then it kind of comes in the wrong side. Too too many on the end. Uh, no, these are needed if you want throughput unlimited. A lot of people make this mistake. Um, having without these, it will be balanced, but it will be throughput limited is my understanding of it. So you do need these if you want it. These boats. Is Hope drunk? I know he's not, but... They're there. Yeah, man. Where, where is Hope's special glasses? Do we still have those, Can? <laughs> Do we still have those in stock? Where's the underwater ore patches? Uh, maybe the boats mod will add it at some point. Or like offshore oil oil wells. That'd be pretty sweet, huh? Alright. Productivity, uh, we're, we're short on, on space science. I know for a fact for the science is why it's held up. Glasses. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I want to launch another rocket. How do they stay on? Duct tape, obviously. And while this launches, um, I am going to go grab a snack, guys. Belt it on, yeah, just the uh, transport belts around your head. Um, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm just going to get a snack, refill my water and such. Don't go anywhere, I will be back shortly.
Alrighty, we're back. Alright, so I think the only things left for blueprinting down there are a red build and a uh, blue build. Uh, does this, this, I guess this could be beaconed? Mm, I don't think I'll include that part. We'll take it down to like here to start with. Okay, maybe more than that. We'll take it down to like here. Let's get rid of. do that. I think we will get rid of the beacons for now, though. Uh, the modules we may want to keep, actually. Alright. So we are going to need... Um, I need to blueprint the blue build. Yeah, we don't need yeah, we don't need a ton of red circuit production at the moment. And uh Longhorn fan, thank you for the follow a couple minutes ago. Sorry I missed that, I was away. I don't know where this is gonna go, cause it's a getting a little bit crowded. Don't need that blueprint. I don't um hmm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because we may need more than one circuit build. Oh, the circuit builds could go down. Um. Hmm. Because I, I want to leave room up here for, like, more, uh, more stuff. We do have landfill. We can landfill a little bit if we need to. That'll work. I mean, the plastic will just come in from uh, the other side. I'll be back. And then blue circuits. Blue circuits are gonna. That's not at all what I wanted. Thank you. I don't think we'll be able to support this, but, like, at all. Let's see what we can do. And then this can go... In case I do want to extend this lengthwise, we'll put this guy, like... Hmm... Put it like there for now. We can always move it. They're, all, they're just blueprints. Pretty easy to mess around with here. And then I'll build it on episode, because... Again, I don't want to just come back and be like, by the way, we built a whole nother base. And uh, Pineapple Mojito, thank you for the follow. Uh, looks like another rocket could probably be launched at this point. I think that's what's holding us up again for science. Uh, how long have I been playing this game? For like three years? Too long. That is a good answer. Too long.
All right, well, I mean, I think this is mostly what I wanted to do for the stream on this base. Uh, we could do some uh, Clustorio build testing. Mostly, though, it's just going to be like standard bot builds, I think. There may not be as much testing as I had anticipated. Number two. <laughs> Thanks for the two bits, Geeson. All right. Uh, let, what Will was starting some map. I suppose we could join him. A twenty-five time. Wow. That just looks like a headache, man. Oh, on extreme side, outpost base is bigger than any base I've ever built. <laughs> that little, this base down here? Can Exterm doesn't think we tested our bot builds. I never said that. When did, what? What are you talking about, Hope? Why is there no... There's no radar coverage in here? Seriously? Damn. Uh, radar. Not, not there. Oh, hey, that lines up perfectly. Nice. Hope I'll... <laughs> Fortunately, Hope I can't get drunk now. I only had one base launcher rocket, and I was back in 14. Well, no worries. I mean, size isn't everything, right? <laughs> Don't need as much testing. Uh, you heard it right, but you understood it wrong, or I said it wrong. What I meant was we pretty much already have our bot builds fleshed out mostly because we tested them so extensively, so they don't really need any additional testing, I suppose is what I should have said. It's got my coffee, so I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Are you joining Will's um, pain world, Mojo? But learning a lot from watching streams like these in the YouTube series. Thank you for those. Well, of course, it's my pleasure, Fearless. I'm, I'm glad they're helping out. Um, okay, there's... I don't really need radar on the bus. Like, the far edge of the bus. This pollution get a little bit out of hand. Half this fun is building your first spaghetti dishes. Yeah! Not really don't care for yet another... Yeah, I'm not a fan of ribbon maps. Hey, Joy the Cat, how are you doing? So, uh... I'm not... I, I'm a little bit stumped. I thought this would take longer than it would. Well, guys, we got a couple options. Raiders on the bus, how do you know when Chopper's about to arrive? with wounded monsoon. <laughs> that, that's a good point. What about other odd map shapes like circles or lines or fish? I don't think you can really do those unless it's a scenario. Chat makes it faster. They do. Sometimes they make it slower. Is it Mega Base yet? Nope. Not until you come help me, Mojo. It's slow going, man. I went back and looked at some of my old maps. They were pretty bad. I was a lot worse with spaghetti than I am now. Yeah, I mean, it, looking back on your old map, like, everybody realizes how bad their old map was. Uh, I mean, things are... The red circuits are really just a bottleneck. The blue circuits a little bit. 
Map multiplayer enjoyable? No, not at the moment. At the moment, there's not much to do, because I want the next step I want to do on episode. But, I mean, at some point, if you could just come in and, you know, help or just build the whole base for me, that'd be good. <laughs> Launch another rocket, get things rolling on that front. Oh, hey, there he goes. Man, that was quick. Jeez. I got a question. Will there ever be added new rare ore like silver or gold at the moment i'm collecting uranium 235 is some kind of money but silver or gold would be nice for example you could use this or to make better processor speed modules uh i don't think that will ever be introduced in the base game um however it's a cool idea i think having like silver or gold or something more valuable like that to put into modules would be pretty cool like my very first map from point 12 at the moment it has changed so much yeah, it's kind of ridiculous looking back, isn't it? Well, guys, um, damn. To be honest with you, oh, we could put our bots back in. Bot, bot, bots. Where are my damn row ports? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm almost feeling I'm almost feeling a, another game right now for the rest of the stream, but I'm not sure. Has it just said what the next update will bring? Uh, yeah, in uh, one of the recent Friday Facts Pineapple, they did give uh, kind of a roadmap of what was going to be in it. I'd be very happy if they added some way of using your second monitor for stats. That'd be kind of cool. Um, let me see if I, I can find this Friday Facts for you. It was like one of the really recent ones. There you go. Uh, who said that? Pineapple? Ah, oh, Jesus. I hit all the wrong buttons. Uh, I'm waiting for 017 to be Battle Royale given the current gaming meta. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Hey, would you ever do a modded series like C Block or the one KOS is playing? Um, yeah, I mean, I started a Bob's Angels one. Um, I wouldn't do C Block. I might look into the one KOS is playing. It sounds kind of interesting. Maybe do one with KOS at some point. All right, see you later, Fearless. I really would love if they implemented more stuff. I started Bob Angels two weeks ago on the food. And the flood of resources you have to deal with is awesome. Pretty crazy. How can I balance belts well? Uh, just belt balancers. Uh, there's a lot of them on the wiki. Uh, like this. Like this is a four-way balancer. Just a singular belt. You shouldn't really need to balance. But if you feel inclined, you can. Uh, I mean, here's like... If it's only on one side, so like, if there's stuff only on this side, you can do this. Um, or you can do one of these dealies, which I'm not a fan of, but... If you just need to balance like one belt. Like it's only one-sided or whatever. This stone. Got that. I mean, we have 2k landfill, so if we need more room down here, we can easily, like, landfill part of this lake, and it, lake, and it shouldn't be a problem. I'm just kind of investigating, looking around... Seeing what else can be done here. I 
No, this rocket isn't... It should be almost done. Yeah, 96%. We're pretty close. I do want to launch one more because that is holding up science again. Uh, and it looks like steel, actually. Steel is going full tilt right now. Uh, is, there an, is there a new way to compress properly after the underground change? Uh, yeah, inserters just compress, as Mojo said. They'll just do it automatically, so you don't even need anything, like, special. Um, hmm. Yeah, compression is so much easier now, it's awesome. And we launched 23 rockets. I mean, that's not too bad on the size of a base, all things considered. So we got an idea of what you want for the mega base. Um, I mean, I'd kind of like to aim for maybe like one or two K science per minute and I mean, belt base, obviously. Mostly it's just like the transition and some of the builds that just give me a headache. Have you ever thought about using bots in outpost mining to pass providers and using bots to transport to requesters in the stacks? Uh, yeah, I do that all the time. Uh, that's usually how I build, is bots at outposts. I'm purposely not doing that in this playthrough. I'll be back. You do not in YouTube videos. Uh, not in this series. If you watch my Sending Supporters to Space series, I do it exclusively. Uh, in pretty much most the other series too, mostly multiplayer series, we use bots at outposts. Um, Hansen, thank you for the follow. Welcome. We're bootstrap the next size base. What science per minute should I aim for? I mean, that's kind of up to you. to next size base. Um, I mean, a couple hundred maybe. How about 2400 science a minute? Yeah, that seems doable. If that's like, I'm guessing that's uh, easily divisible to get like about a certain number of belts out. be back. Uh, front code as well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, we probably actually want more beacons in this. 480 seems like a lot, but it's actually not when you really start doing like major beacon builds here. I'll cap this one like at two rows. So modules to stop. This thing's like totally done. I'm in small quantities while I work on the next one. For like, fourth a green circuit build. Green circuit build shouldn't take that much, right? Fix my single signals. Is that, are you volunteering help? That'd be great, man, thanks. I'll be back. And Richin, thank you for the follow as well.
I usually build up to eight iron and four copper smelting setups with red belt for the bus and mall, and six copper and four iron smelting setups with red belt for green circuits. That seems pretty standard. Where they're broken, I could. Well, I don't know where they're broken. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, no, there's tons of. There's like 10 trains. Train, train, train. Trains here, train, train. More trains. Oil trains. Yeah, man, we got trains. Up for a stack challenge? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not with this base. Can I can I do it on an already established base? Wow. Red circuits are dwindling even more than normal. I bet it's plastic. It is indeed plastic. Uh, okay, well, let's see what we can do about plastic. Next step for this base is to go to the area and put in, then put production numbers into Excel. Yeah, about that. But mostly I need to figure out how like how many belts and stuff I need, right? You told me the trains have issues, so pay attention in the future. Did Anti finish that already? He already did 60 stacks? No way. Or did he did his computer die before they finished? And work on how many blue belts it's all worth. Oh god. Uh, so plastic. The problem is we're outputting a one red belt, but we're taking a red and yellow belt from it. Uh, I'm just gonna like blue belt this because I'm lazy. Oh yeah, weren't we supposed to be avoiding calculations? Growing it organically. How? I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm like at a, I'm at a rock wall here. Mentally, on this base. Oh, I, I'm surprised he finished that quickly. I'll be that's, back. That's impressive. I mean, he is a speedrunner, after all, but... Yeah, I mean, it was multiplayer. That definitely helps a lot. From Zulon and Kamosha socks. <laughs> so this actually isn't quite a blue belt. But it, as long as it's a full red belt and yellow belt, but it's not actually... Damn. <laughs> and actually now Cole can't even keep up. Was this not red belted? Could have sworn that it was. This isn't even needed. What why is why is that even there? Get that, get that. Boom. So there, sag inserters on the output. Um, I don't think the output's the problem. No, it's not. I'm going to do much good if the coal doesn't come in fast enough. Well, I think it should. Come on, dude. I know I red belted. Could have sworn I red belted this. Hmm. 
Hmm, I guess not. That doesn't need to be bed belt. Um, the only mod I'm using resource spawner overhaul upgrade planner, which is what I was just using, uh, and then atomic artillery. But there's no like production changing mods or anything. And uh, happy days, lol. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Ship it. Hola, boss. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, this thing's cranking now. Probably not gonna have enough coal for this. Like, where is the coal even coming from? Yeah, this outpost was not doing so good. Oh, it's full, it's full now, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't really consider RSO mod, but still. Uh, did this claw post need a balancer? Yeah, uh, there's not much room for one, but we could do the same as we did on that iron one. Should probably go do that. Uh, just got this game pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, it is. A, it's a fun game, man. Yeah, that call out post does back. need a balancer. And thank you for the follow there. All right. Can we beat this train? <laughs> I was about to keep running, but I knew I wasn't going to make it. I won't give you guys and the trains the satisfaction. Oh. Hmm. It's not the turn I wanted, but it's the turn we needed. <laughs> it really was, because we were getting attacked. Not a train in your pocket? Nah, man. I'm just really happy to see you. This is a bit of a walk. Game. Mood. <laughs> XJ is streaming coming. Okie dokie. So we need to kind of like rearrange all this. We're going to have to do something really wonky like what we did at that iron outpost. Where we like run all of these out some direction and then back in. Although I'm not even sure if that's going to work. I don't think we don't even have room for that. Because if he goes here, and then... Okay, we don't even have room to do that. <laughs> uh, hmm. This is a problem. Underground from the top. Yeah. Oh, I could take them out the bottom. Mm. Underground from the top. I have a better idea. Why not just move the depot? Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed these 
you know, like 30 chests full of stuff, it's a little bit hard to move. Just a little bit. Don't worry, guys, we're fine. Boom. Oh, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Still getting a little bit used to my new keyboard. But overall, it's definitely, definitely nice. Okay, so what's going to happen then is this one comes over like that. Screw you. Will would move it. Will would move it. I'm glad he's not here. There we go, because, you know, that's not inefficient or anything. <laughs> uh, but there we go. At least now it's balanced. Alex Storm always puts so much needless space behind his balancers. What, here? I wanted to make sure I had enough room to turn. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. It's like 10 extra belt. You see me lagging out yet? More things to never look back at again. Yep. So at this point, we're kind of limited to like a little like one chunk square of our base we can actually look at now. It'll be fine. I know you guys thought I was going to get hit by that. Gotcha. One day that coal patch will run out. And then we will nuke it from orbit with the artillery. <laughs> hey, meep. Thanks for the ride, man. Oh, that added some weight. Jeez. Where, where are you going? Oh, shit. It changed it to manual. <laughs> that is not at all what I wanted. It was going so well. Oh, we gotta wait. Alright. Thanks for the ride. Easy. It, it was going great until I changed it to manual. Whoa, I just found the outpost auto generator you've been using time to get some building materials. Uh, which one is that? Coming in to spawn a train behind exterm. <laughs> well, plastic should be good to go. Don't need this crappy ammo. Get that out of here. Taking up a locomotive makes it manual again? Well, that's kind of silly. Oh, Auditorio? Yeah. It's really, really nice, man. Definitely, definitely a helpful one. Well, cool. That took care of that. Red circuits are looking way better now. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, guys...
And that's about all I can do right now on here. Because I, I want to build the module base on episode. Did all my oil. I don't think I actually tried it with oil. But if it, if it does it well, that would definitely be easier than doing it manually. Oh. Sucks at pipes. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah, I, I was a little surprised when you said that. Alrighty. Two hundred beacons in there. That's in there. Could up this. Get those working. Do you have any vids for brand new players? I do. Uh, I have a couple tutorial, like one-off tutorial videos uh, that just kind of focus on specific things. Uh, this series that this base is from, Tightening the Belt, on my YouTube uh, channel, uh, should be very good for new players. I pretty much go over everything from the very start up to where we are now uh, in detail. So definitely check this out on my YouTube which is linked down below in my info. So are you playing with the same people for the production battle? I am. Uh, episode one starts from scratch. Uh, yes, it starts should start entirely from scratch. I think. Maybe. <laughs> uh, let me check here. It should Energy. though. Uh, fifty. Let's. See. Mute that. Okay, it doesn't quite start from scratch, but I pretty much explain everything. So it should it should do fine. I have not watched that at all. I like don't pay attention to any of that stuff. What? I'm curious. How much science have we done overall? Not okay, not bad. Uh, yes, I do explain green and red wires as well in the series. I can explain them right now if you'd like. They're very simple. It's effective. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Um... So red and green wires, they act exactly the same. They're just different colors and are separate. Like, so you can have one signal going on red and another signal going on green, and they, uh, they, they're just for, like, carrying two signals at once, right? And you, you just, you do, you just hook them in to stuff. So, like, red wire, again, it doesn't matter. They work identical. So you take red or green, you can uh, left-click, power pole to inserter and then it gives you like conditions you can do um it obviously with a power pole there's not much to connect to but like if you connect it to a chest or something you know you can wire from a chest and then just say like if gears are less than 10 you can work and that condition is not true because there's 11 so it just doesn't work so it's kind of like the logistics network, but like more localized, like specific. Uh, so, I mean, it's like, and then there's combinators, which I'm not going to get into because I don't really understand most of them. But for basic stuff like this, it's just really, really simple. You have a nice one. <laughs> Pave my lawn. 
Just get a riding lawnmower can. Then you can, you know, just put in some music or put a movie on your tablet and <laughs> you just have to look up it every once in a while to make sure you're driving it in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Hope, exactly. Or can, you do have a riding lawnmower? Well, damn. Then it's, it's fun, what are you talking about? I would like, I'd love doing, I'd love mowing the lawn if I had a riding lawnmower. It's like a little mini, like, ATV. I mean, I used, I mean, I made a lot of money when I was in high school mowing lawns, so I guess I'm used to it. I, like, had a lawn mowing business ish. It wasn't obviously official because I was in high school, but. Lasers. I know I automated lasers, dude. I kept, I, for the longest time, I'm like, didn't I automate these? They weren't in a damn chest. Passive provider chest, anyways. Speaking of lasers, I need some. <laughs> I'll be back. That's a long time, Hope. I was watching Shred Guy and he was going nuts with combinators. I got really confused. I don't blame you. Get goats. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Then you won't have to mow your lawn. Or sheep. Yep. These biters are... Yeah, man. They're like... They just don't give up. Stop it. And it's just like one guy, too. I don't have a miner. Wait, yeah, I do. Um, okay, where... This must be off this direction. Well, let's put some lasers down just in case. We had two goats to mow the lawn. <laughs> Bamboozles me. Airports have determined goats are cheaper than lawnmowers. <laughs> when they don't eat, they destroy. Yeah. Uh, Alright, you little biter punks. Hey, Streaky Toaster, good morning. How are you? I mean, I'm like, I'm glad I don't have to mow the lawn now, but I probably don't mind it as much as most people. I mowed a lot of people's lawns. But I was able to buy my first car from, or my my current car, it's my, the only car I've owned, from basically mowing lawns and pet sitting and house sitting. Play goat simulator? I don't think so. Ouch. Stop it. That, that hurt, guys. That was kind of rude. Okay, let's, let's take this easy. Cool base. I'll be checking out the vid. See you later. Alright. See you later, ship. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, if you want to join the Discord too, you know, feel free to ask questions in there. Hire Extreme, give him five dollars to mow your lawn. It, 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 it was not five dollars, but <laughs> go Sam. Only reason that game exists is because of YouTubers. Boy. Oh man, I was making like. 
30 or 40 bucks a lawn. The lawn mowing actually wasn't really where the money's at. House sitting and pet sitting. That's that's where you, you make the big bucks when you're like in school. So I'd pop over to watch. Hey, Trap Plays, what's going on? Holy iron. It's got enough content to make three YouTube videos out of it, which is perfect for YouTube. Holy Jesus. This is like perfectly round, which is not, although it's almost square enough to like be pretty decent. Blah to YouTubers. Sure I can. <laughs> of course I can. Iron eyeball. Yeah. A little bit apple shaped, huh? USA is probably the only place you can earn enough to buy a car from <laughs> mow mowing grass. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. So I cheating on YouTube with Twitch on the down low. Oh, yeah. No, like, I didn't... That's no moon. That's an iron patch. <laughs> um... She... Um... I didn't make that like I made a decent amount from mowing it's a trap yeah don't 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 run towards it uh, but but seriously like depending where you live if you're in like high school or something and you like know your neighbors or like relatives or friends or something like house sitting and pet sitting well at least at least when I was that age I don't know about now but I mean, that was only like eight years ago Um, that, that was where a lot of, a lot of the income came from, like, people pay a lot to have you house sit or pet sit for them. I pay Mrs. $20 a month on 10 extra if she does, if she edges. That sounds about right, Monsoon. Yeah, that's kind of like what I got paid. And I mean, you know, you do that with, you know, three or four lawns and then add in pet sitting and house sitting and uh, I mean you know I was I was making more probably more than minimum wage Tamagotchi sitting <laughs> uh, lucky RNG bastard thank you for the prime sub I like your name thank you so much it's your beer money there you go I'm telling you guys, Twitch Prime is awesome. Like this isn't even sellout mode yet. <laughs> uh, it's just it it's like totally changed streaming. Like seriously, it's just it's amazing that the fact you know because like probably I would say probably like eight out of ten people, maybe not eight, maybe like seven or six out of ten people in the U.S. have Amazon Prime, and the fact that it just allows you to sub to anybody for free every single month. Like it just changes it just changed streaming so much. No, this isn't sellout mode. Like I I mean if you want to, sure, but just in general. It it just allows it, it not only allows people to sub, but it allows streamers to get subs that they never would have gotten before. There's a base right over here. This is one with Amazon Prime account. Uh, well, did you know, Silent Mode Engage, did you know, Monsoon, that you can connect any Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account? So if you, if your wife lets you have your her login details, which she may not, but if she does, uh, you can log in and connect it to your Twitch account and then use the Twitch Prime. You know, it can be a friend, relative, pet, whatever. Um, or, or if you want to give her your Twitch login details, which you may not, <laughs> uh, but 
you can you can just connect it to like family members. Um, if only Sternbot had Twitch Prime <laughs> for YouTube streaming. Yep. Uh, Sturm, your conversation about house sitting does not fit with sounds of death and destruction. <laughs> RNG, that said, hey guys, got Twitch Prime and Netflix, just great. Yeah, man, Netflix. Hey, speaking of which, are you guys excited for the new series? What is it? Like, End of Space, I think? I may have gotten that name wrong. Um, that, it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to check that out on Netflix. I stole my wife's details also. Yeah, I mean, like... I mean, even if she... Even if, if the person doesn't trust you with it, like, you could like, go in with them sitting there, hook it up, and then they can just change their info. Like, all you need to do is just connect it to your Twitch account. And that's it. Loss in space, that's it. Yeah, looks pretty damn good. When's that coming? Like, the 14th? 13th? I'm terrible with names. Um, I have not watched The Expanse yet. I added it to my queue. I just haven't had time. I've been watching a lot of uh, streams. I'm watching another series. I was watching movies. I watched The Hobbit. Gotta watch Lord of the Rings next. Okay, that pretty. I wanted to make sure there's no guys in the pollution, like outside the export area, is mostly what I was concerned about there. Thirteenth. Okay. Got me into Factorio and I love it. 700 plus hours. Still loving it. <laughs> Damn, Chav. Yeah, it is just, it's like kind of like endless fun, huh? I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. It's been a weekend in an hour. <laughs> yeah. As Barber. Uh oh. Opal fight. How close does pollution need to be to the bugs in order for them to start attacking? Um, it has to be, like, on top of them. So, like, if there was a base, say, like... Well, it's a little hard to tell, but... Because of this terrain color. If there was a base, say, like, right here... They wouldn't attack. The pollution has to be touching them at least some. So, as long as it's not on them, then they won't attack. Chores are a great game as long as you don't have a headache and also are okay with having one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your fight, you're about to be. Um. Wow, some of these lines are not looking good, dude. I'm not sure how much longer this copper patch is going to last, actually. You got 5,019 hours on Factorio. Good lord. That's like up there with Will, and me, and Mojo. Alright, make it back to base, and uh, don't worry guys, I am getting those new emotes. Um, I contacted an artist to work on a concept, so it may be like a week or so. But, uh... We've gained a lot, I think we can have... We can have nine emotes now plus a tier one and or a tier two and tier three emote which i still haven't quite decided on what those are going to be that's it exterminator you need a sponsorship from head on for all your headaches <laughs> there we go 
They can sponsor me. Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, so... No worries about that, and wow, we're almost... We're almost at 100 subs, which... I think is pretty awesome. Like, I didn't get partner that long ago, I don't think. Was it like a, two months ago, maybe? So thank you guys so much. Almost 100 subs, which is amazing. How much I play seems still says I have zero hours. You broke it, Engie. I have 1,500, can't do smarts. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I have multiple thousands and I can't do smarts. <laughs> I think it's the, it, it takes like a special mindset or, or like brain working, inner workings to uh, understand smarts. And he can't, yeah. <laughs> it kind of just depends on like what you focus on and stuff, you know. Only about 202 hours on Victoria according to Steam. Yeah, it's still pretty good. I don't know how I have more hours on Gmod but not Victoria, but it's because I share my Steam with my brothers. Oh, that may be it. I don't know, guys. By the looks of it, I may potentially get as many hours on uh, Fortnite as I have on Factorio at some point. I am, like, utterly addicted to that game. I don't even have the green circuit achievement. Yeah, can you're you're more of just like a you're you're like a scientist. You're not a you're not a base builder. Well, I mean you are you you are a base builder though. You helped build base. Yeah, I've seen some. Haven't you built bases? Yeah, I don't use the Steam version either. Want to play Fortnite on stream or YouTube? Um, I will start streaming Fortnite. I guess I figured, um, I figured that like, cause I'm not great at it, so I figured why would people watch me just failing? But you guys may enjoy it still, so I'm gonna stream it. There's no point in doing YouTube content of it, like, it's just the the time I would put in is just literally not worth what would, what would what I would get out of it, or what you guys would get out of it. Um, but I, I may start streaming it. Fortnite looks like Disney characters with guns building weird looking cabins. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's cartoony, but it is insanely fun. Uh, edit out your deaths. Well, then it would be a really, really short video. <laughs> uh, like... It's just, it's just really fun. I, I haven't had as much fun with a game as I have with Fortnite in a, in a very long time. You shouldn't be playing video games unless you're making videos or streaming it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be streaming it. Video is just, there's no point, like, truly, for the videos. Fortnite, but with friends all working together, it's amazing. Exactly, Trev. Like, wh when you get a group together, oh my god. <laughs> it's, it is absolutely amazing. Like, I can play, it's as bad as Factorio time-wise. Like, you know, I've had a couple nights where I've gotten in a group with some guys, and we will play for, like, four hours straight, and the time is just just gone. Like, we'll start at, like, 7 o'clock, and it will just be, like, 11.30 before I know it, and it's just ridiculously fun. It's not as old or saturated with streamers. I mean, does it really matter? Like, that doesn't affect you. It because I mean, there's more players, but that that's good. You know, I mean... I love Fortnite Overwatch for commentary alone. Well, thanks, Catman. I mean, I'll, yeah. 
I might start streaming it. I mean, I don't really know what you mean by, like, it's oversaturated. I mean, there's a lot of people who stream it, like a lot of big streamers, but, like, is that bad? I mean, does that, <laughs> does that affect, like, your play? Wait for Factorio Fortnite bot. Factorio Battle Royale. I mean, the PvP thing is pretty much like a Battle Royale, the production PvP events in Factorio style. If you want viewers, it might be hard. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I wasn't doing it previously, because it was like, what was the point? But then uh, people were telling me that I should stream it anyway, which I guess is true. What do you think about the Commonwealth games? Um, what do you, uh, like, I, I'm not sure I've heard of those. Does your hamburger have? Probably like a thousand. Okay, we need to launch this rocket though. That's why I was over here. I was over here for a reason. Launch. Like, so I had the same mindset, Pineapple, and other people who are, who are saying it's too oversaturated. I had the same mindset, and I still kind of do. But like, here's the thing, right? Here's what you have to consider, is all these big streamers who are now, like, quote-unquote oversaturating it, started streaming something, like, with no, when they had no viewers, right? Some streamers, like, got into a game at a perfect time early, and it built up that way, but a lot of these streamers, like, they just started when the game was already saturated, and they're now big streamers, so if, if you always go in with the mindset that there's already people, big people streaming it. I just can't succeed. And I, I, I had this mindset and kind of do to some point. But it's like if you go in with that mindset that there's already a lot of people doing this, so I can't do it, then you've already failed. Because, like, the same thing applies to YouTube. I mean, look at, look at, um, Catherine of Sky is a perfect example of this. Catherine Sky started her YouTube channel not that long ago, like in the grand scheme of things. You know, I was already established, you know, Mango Pork was already really established, Stijo was already really established, you know, Arumba, Quill, all these big people were doing stuff, and she started and her, her factorial content exploded, right? Even though the thing was al already very saturated. And, and this, you know, this applies to to anything you know it's like it's just you just gotta do it sometimes is it, is it done yet man it's almost come on what are we lacking we're lacking well control units and low densities at this point if you build it they will come <laughs> exactly Come on, six more percent. Go, go, go. Just do it. Yeah. Bahamut, exactly. If you're unique enough, you will get viewers, watches, no problem. Right. Or if you're just really good. Usually that alone won't do it. Feels ignored. What did I ignore from you, Ho? I'm learning to rap. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> they should hopefully finish out this research. Alrighty, I think I may have to call it there, guys. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Again. I need to eat early because I have to get up early tomorrow. I'm having lunch with my parents and they're getting here early. That's <laughs> all I can say. Uh, the stream is you started from the ground up. That's all cool and stuff. I think the problem is people like Logan Paul who hop from video sharing websites to video sharing websites and bring their younger communities with them. I mean, yeah, it's a mix of both. Have fun, guys. I just joined the sub. I have to prepare myself to watch Downton Abbey on Amazon. <laughs> nice. Um, well, thank you again. Lucky for the sub. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your Downton Abbey. Uh, we never got a quest story, oh, Flixian. What about straw poll on Discord? What about... What? What straw poll? What? You mean the one that I took down? That's no longer applies, which is why I took it down. Okay, that's going to do it for me, guys. I need to head out. Um, thank you so much for all the subs and the follows and bits and such. And uh, I'm going to go play some Factoria now. It's only 11.44 p.m. All right, well, see you at like 5 a.m. <laughs> I'll join time time to watch yourself at Factoria. I love the game. One of my favorite games. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Take care. Um, okay, guys, that's gonna do it. Saturday is, um, another 100 bits. Geeson, thank you so much for the other 100 bits. You're definitely now at the top for sure. Thank you so much. Um, Saturday is going to be the PvP production battle with, uh, Shred Guy and, uh, 3RA and Anti and Clown Town and Mojo are shoutcasting it. It's a pretty big event, so definitely make sure to check that out. Uh, it'll be starting at about the time I started the stream today. Um, so definitely check that out. Also, Mod Spotlight went up about two and a half hours ago. Highly recommend checking it out. It's super cool. It's a cargo ship mod, uh, a really well done one from what I can see, and it's uh, it's super, super cool. So check that out on YouTube. Join the Discord if you haven't, and link your Discord to your Twitch if you're a sub. Or plan on being a sub or whatever because then you get your special twitch sub rank in the discord and get into the special rooms and such so make sure to do that 5 a.m my start my time start wow mojo <laughs> you're gonna be able to shout cast anything there uh anyway that's gonna do it guys take care catch you in discord if you need anything and uh i will see you on saturday and on youtube have a good day